Well, a very happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome to Ozarks First Fast and Local. I'm Natalie Nunn. We're glad that you're with us. We'll talk about heartburn. The viral cake that you may have seen making the rounds on social media has landed in the Ozarks in time for Valentine's Day, which Heads up, it is exactly a week from today. So what is a burn away cake? Well, cake artist Jasmine Thomas shows us how she makes the viral sensation that's spreading like wildfire. TikTok, so it's been all over TikTok. I've seen so many videos every day I get on Facebook or TikTok, it's everywhere, so I had to try it. First, I'm just gonna pipe a border on the outside to give it some height in between the two layers so you don't accidentally burn the bottom image. And then you just put the other image on top, and this one's the burnable paper. And then pipe another border on top. That's pretty much it. There's not very many tutorials on it online, um, so I just started like playing around lighting my pieces of edible paper on fire to see which one worked and which one didn't. <laughs> it's like a creme brulee that? torch. I'm going to set it on fire. <laughs> I love these ones too, because whenever you burn the paper, it smells like toasted marshmallows. Oh, it smells so good. Is that good? Well, it is really cool. 417 Jazzy Cakes is Jasmine's business, and she specializes in hyper-realistic cakes like you see here. All of that's edible. The paper wrapped around the flowers, the stems, the flowers. She said her favorite cake is that dinosaur cake that you see right there. Have you ever watched the show Is It Cake on Netflix? Well, Jasmine has applied and received a call back, but she was out of town and away from her phone, her work phone at the time. She missed her chance, but that isn't stopping her as she continues to apply and hopefully will be cast soon in one of the episodes because her cakes really are super impressive. You can go to OzarksFirst.com for more on Jasmine's story and a gallery of all the cakes that she she sent us to show. Well, let's go ahead and talk about weather. And I have had fun looking in on the sphere all week long in Las Vegas. And look, right now they've actually seen sunshine in Vegas. And there's a little bit of cloud cover, but it looks prettier than it has. It's been rainy the last couple of days. So the weather should be shaping up for them as we head into Super Bowl Sunday, just a few days away. What can we expect here in the Ozarks? Well, 49 degrees overnight, so that's really, really, really on the warm side where we should end our days for this time of the year. Very mild, and the winds will start picking up. We are going to see very windy conditions over the next it's a 24 to 48 hours. So it'll be strong winds. Um, so keep that in mind if you have any plans outdoors. The wind advisory is along and north of I-44 from 6 a.m. tomorrow to about 6 p.m. tomorrow. And we could expect winds from 35 to 40 miles per hour. And you can see with future casts, strong winds at 3 p.m. on Thursday could be 36 to 40 miles per hour. We continue to go through the area. Should die down a little overnight. I don't think we'll see a wind advisory for your Friday, but they will be stronger back to about 20 to 30 miles per hour on Friday afternoon. Heads up, we're starting to notice that there's a, a chance that we could see possibly a little snowfall on Sunday. We're still quite a few days away, but the precipitation chances for Sunday look about 40%. And yeah, this does look like it's around that Super Bowl time. So we'll keep you updated, keep you you know, in the loop as we head closer and closer to Sunday. Well, you can catch Jasmine's story about her cake. Go to our website, OzarksFirst.com. We have all of our news stories there as well. We'll also be on the news tonight, Color 10 at 5, 6, and 10, and on Fox 49 at 6, 30, and 9.